Hi fam, it's been so long since I uploaded a video, so here's one where I show you my journey of painting this white portion of a traditional owl man's shawl. I had to fold it this way so it could fit into one picture, but it's not how it's sewn. So this is the sample that I'll be referring to. This head represents head hunting, which was prevalent before. The mitten represents wealth and possession. There's this hornbill whose beautiful feathers form an integral part of the owl attire. So we see that in this white piece, all the symbols signify something and it speaks a lot about our culture. So none of it can be actually ignored. Um, I'll be taking the white shawl, which is separately woven and referring to the sample. I draw outlines with my free hands with the help of a pencil. And then with the help of a small liner brush, I apply the fabric carefully onto the outlines first and then fill them in wherever necessary. Please make sure that the brush that you're using is completely dry. I'm stressing on this point because if the brush is moist in any way, the color will only spread over the cloth and that is not what we're looking for. So. Painting such symbols on shawls was a thing of the past. The forefathers would use the raw extract from a tree trunk as a dye to paint on the shawls before fabrics were introduced. Later on, people started to rely on embroidered pieces more than the dyed ones, so these days you'll find that most of them have those that are sewn, not dyed. Um, but stitching designs could be hectic, so painting it with fabric could be a better way to save time and energy. Also, fabric, once dried on cloth, barely gets washed off, so the color is retained for a long time. Um, if you'd ask me if this was fun to do, absolutely yes. But will I do it again? I don't think so. This is a long train of cloth to paint on and I'm just not sure if I'm going to do it again. Anyways, this is the final product and like I said, I folded it in this manner just so it could fit in one frame. So, that's about it. If you're new to my channel, it would mean so much if you could subscribe to it and make sure to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video in the future. Also, you can follow me on Instagram because I'm more active there than I am here. And yeah, thank you family for the overwhelming support. I'm really humbled. I'll see you soon.